All right, time to say for our instrument rating. Let's talk about alternates. Is a destination alternate required? The answer is yes, except I like to use the three, two, one rule. So uh, an alternate is always required unless the weather at your destination is going to be a three statute miles visibility, 2000 foot ceilings for an hour before and an hour after your estimated time of arrival. So your, an alternate is always required except if the weather meets the three, two, one rule. If yes, your flight plan requires an alternate, then we have some weather minimums to consider. The weather needs to have at least a 600 foot ceiling and two statute miles visibility if there is a precision approach at the airport. Similarly, the weather needs to be at least 800 foot ceiling and two miles visibility if a non-precision approach. Remember, we're always reporting clouds in AGL. We must also consider if the alternate requires alternate minimums, which we would find in the TERPs. And if there's no instrument approach at the alternate, then we can still list it as our alternate as long as the weather will permit a descent from MEA to approach to landing in VFR conditions. When filing an alternate, we also have GPS considerations. If you're equipped with a non-WAS GPS, the flight plan can be based on a GPS approach at either your destination or at your alternate, but not at both. If you're flying with a WAS capable non barrow VNAV GPS, flight plan may be based on LNAV or circling minima at the alternate. If you do have a WAS GPS with barrow VNAV capability, then the flight plan may be filed based on LNAV VNAV or RMP.3 minima as a basis for the flight plan.